Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting true crime content. Today we look at a Birmingham woman who is among six people jailed over a fake spouse visa scam. Malia Musarat of Firecroft Grove, Hansworth was among the six who abused the spouse visa route to bring people into the UK illegally. They were jailed for a total of more than 11 years today, Friday, September the 20th. Miss Musarat was a key member of the Yorkshire-based crime group and was arrested in March 2018 after a two-year investigation by Immigration Enforcement's Criminal and Financial Investigation Team. Sheffield Crown Court heard how Maboub Ahmed, the main offender, provided a commercial service for the falsification of earnings and the production of documents to fraudulently demonstrate the sponsors met the required income threshold. Mr Ahmed of Maidstone Street, Bradford, provided a legitimate service to individuals and small companies helping them with their tax submissions. But he abused the access to add sponsors to company payrolls without their knowledge, creating fake payslips and contracts to give the impression they were earning the necessary £18,600. Operating out of an office in Main Road, Darnall, Sheffield, Mr Ahmed issued cheques from his company account to sponsors' bank accounts, to make them appear well-paid employees. The money was later paid back to Mr Ahmed and the cycle repeated until evidence was created to show the visa conditions were met. The sponsors, all British citizens, paid up to £2,500 for the illegal service. On each occasion they used the documentation to sponsor applications for their Pakistani spouses. To ensure families can support themselves financially, the UK's immigration rules require those looking to sponsor a spouse or partner to submit evidence including bank statements and pay slips demonstrating they meet a minimum income requirement of £18,600. The fraud was identified by UK visas and immigration officials when they spotted a link between two suspicious spouse visa applications sponsored by Ibrar Azim of Hamilton Road, Sheffield and Fasner Khan of Hindi House Lane, Sheffield. CFI inquiries led them to two more sponsors, Bibi Safia of Limpsfield Road, Sheffield and Musara, another individual, Mohammed Khalil Khan of Hindi House Lane, Sheffield, funded some of the fraudulent sponsor payments to his sister-in-law, Fasner Khan. The suspects were arrested during a series of operations in March 2018. Following a trial, Mr Ahmed, Fasner Khan, Mohammed Khalil Khan and Mr Azim were found guilty at a Sheffield Crown Court on the 25th of July 2019. Mohibullah and Miss Musarat had pleaded guilty at earlier hearings. All six were sentenced together at the same court. The charges, Mr Ahmed, 45, was jailed for seven years on four conspiracy charges and 21 months to run concurrently for providing an unregistered immigration service or advice. He was also disqualified from acting as a director for 10 years. Fasner Khan, 34, was jailed for 12 months for conspiracy to facilitate unlawful immigration to the UK. Mohammed Khalil Khan, 39, was jailed for 10 months for conspiracy to facilitate unlawful immigration to the UK. Mr Azim, 31, was jailed for 12 months for conspiracy to facilitate unlawful immigration to the UK. Mr Mohibullah, 26, was jailed for 8 months for conspiracy to facilitate unlawful immigration to the UK. And Ms Musarat, 23, was jailed for 11 months for conspiracy to facilitate unlawful immigration to the UK. Deputy Director Dave McGrath from Immigration Enforcement CFI said, Mr Ahmed was abusing the spouse visa rules and lining his pockets in the process. In doing so, he was also taking advantage of the trust placed in him by his legitimate business customers. By bringing Mr Ahmed and his accomplices to justice, we have stopped a concerted and systematic assault on the UK's immigration system. We will not hesitate to prosecute anyone involved in this type of criminality. What do you think of Miss Musarat and her involvement in the illegal immigration scam? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share, and leave any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments section. We love to read through them all. And if you're new but enjoy UK true crime content, then subscribe to see when our newest video releases. And as always, stay safe.